We all have those pieces of tech that we take around with us every single day. Our tech essentials, basically. Here is what is in my tech bag or the items that I take around with me every day. And uh, this is a blackout edition. First things first, my smartphone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and it is my daily driver. This is unarguably the most important piece of tech I have with me every single day because not only does it guarantee my productivity and entertainment, but it also makes sure that I am able to document everything that goes on during the day with the amazing cameras. I can play video games, check my social media, and even just listen to music and other things like that. I always need to have my smartphone with me because I have a very short attention span and I do get anxiety without my smartphone. I'm addicted. I need help. But anyway, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is a beautifully designed and crafted smartphone with the curved edges, the aluminum sides, and the glass back. However, it is also a fragile smartphone and it is susceptible to cracks and scratches. That is why I protect my phone with the Pataka Mag Easy case too. Now, as you can see, this is not the most bulky or protective case, and it definitely will not do your phone any favors if it is dropped. However, I rarely drop my phone, and as someone who is in love with the design language of this smartphone, it would be a shame to cover it up with a very thick and bulky case. This Pitaka case gives me the peace of mind that the rear of my smartphone is protected from scratches and it does give additional grip to help prevent the phone from slipping out of my hand or from slipping off of a table or any other surface. Another advantage comes from the name of this case, the Mag Easy Case 2. So it gives the phone MagSafe properties, meaning I can use this with accessories like MagSafe wireless chargers or car mounts. But moving on to the next item in my tech bag, I have another smartphone. I told you I was addicted. Anyway, this is the Google Pixel 6a and it is my secondary device. I know a lot of people might be wondering why do I have two Android devices? Well, I just love Android so much, I guess. I know, I know, I said this was a blackout everyday carry and the Pixel 6a is in sage green, but I couldn't get the black version. So I did the next best thing, get a black case and slap it on the device. Easy. Anyway. The Pixel 6a offers a completely different experience from the S22 Ultra. The software experience with Material U is completely different to that on One UI and it offers a plethora of new features. Aside from the great software features, another thing I love is the form factor of the smartphone. I admit, more often than not, I prefer larger smartphones, but every now and then I do want a smaller smartphone that is lighter in weight and easier to carry around with me in case I don't want to bring around my main smartphone. The Pixel 6a also offers amazing camera quality with the dual rear facing 12 megapixel cameras at the back that guarantee having amazing photos in whatever situation you might be taking them. So I don't have to worry about whichever smartphone I pull out of my bag if I need to take a photo. Both the S22 Ultra and the Pixel 6a are up to the task. It also has great battery life thanks to the smaller screen and the optimizations made by the Tensor chip. And speaking of the Tensor chip, it is what guarantees that this smartphone performs brilliantly irrespective of the fact that it is a mid-range phone. And next up, I have my earbuds because I genuinely cannot make it through a day without listening to music, especially during my commute. These are the Galaxy Buds Pro, and while they're beginning to get a little bit old, I think they're still some of the best earbuds on the market. The sound quality is amazing, the active noise cancellation is superb, and honestly, I love how it integrates into the Samsung ecosystem, making it very easy to switch between listening to something on my phone and on my tablet. I have the Galaxy Buds Pro in black as well because not only does it match my aesthetic, but it's also easier to hide when they're dirty. Next up is my wallet, and I haven't used a traditional wallet in a very long time. I much prefer to use these card holders because they are slimmer, they take up less space, and I have room for all my cards and my cash. Now, this wallet is from a company named Exter, and you might have heard me talk about them in some previous videos, but that's just because I actually do love the quality of the products that you get here. This wallet is made out of metal, making it very durable, and I love the carbon fiber pattern it has as well. 
There are also models that have room for an air tag in case you would like to track them. But if you're not an iPhone user, you can also get a solar powered tracker card from Exter that you can put into your wallet and it will give you peace of mind knowing that you will always know where your wallet is. So if you'd like to get this wallet or any of the other products I've spoken about so far, you can check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment. And if you have enjoyed the video up until this point, then hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this. The next item I have in my tech bag is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. And the main reason I have this is because I live in Nigeria. Electricity here is a privilege, not a basic amenity or a right. It's actually very inconsistent. So sometimes my devices run out of juice when I'm outside or even when I'm at home and I need to top it up. This battery bank has enough capacity to fill up my S23 Ultra, my Pixel 6a and even my Galaxy Buds Pro. So it's definitely something that I need to have on hand at all times. And speaking of things I have on hand, let's take a look at what's on my wrist, the Galaxy Watch 4. I've been a smartwatch user since around 2019 and since then I can't do without having one on my wrist. It is essential for making sure I don't miss phone calls or notifications as my phone is always on silent and it also helps me keep track of my footsteps, calories burned and other things like that. Basically everyone knows what you use a smartwatch for and I just happen to really enjoy the Galaxy Watch 4. It fits well with my Samsung ecosystem and of course. It's black. An honorable mention goes to my over-the-ear headphones, the One Audio Fusion A70. I use these when I don't feel like putting my Galaxy Buds into my ears or I need to edit videos with a cable. Okay, so my camera overheated and uh, now they're doing some construction work. So yeah, uh, I need to wrap the video up now. Uh, let's talk about the tech bag itself. So this sling bag is from a company called Devoom. I've had it for a couple of years now. It is very high quality. It's made of weather resistant materials, so you don't have to worry if you're caught under a bit of rain while wearing this bag. It has lots of compartments and hidden compartments inside and even outside of the bag. It has a reflective patch on the front so you don't get hit by a car at night or something. And it has a quick release magnetic strap. One thing that makes this bag more unique than other sling bags is the fact that there is a screen on the front on which you can display some pixel art images or animations. So you can display your logo or the animation of a monkey or a panda or something. And if you download the Devoom app, you will be able to choose and customize whatever animation you want on the bag. Another honorable mention goes to my glasses, which obviously I need to take with me everywhere. And some other accessories that I wear every day, like these bead bracelets and the rings on my fingers. But yeah, let me know if you have any of these items in your everyday carry in the comment section right below the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos like this. And you can check out my other videos in this playlist.